Hey guys, you're watching because you want an alley. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build Springfield. Uh, today we're going to be building a really cool building. It's called Up Up and Buffet instead of Up Up and Away. It's Up Up and Buffet because it's a, a restaurant uh, and it's a plane. It is so, so cool. If this thing exists in real life, please let me know. <laughs> If you could eat a buffet inside of a plane, it would be such a cool idea. I have no idea if you'd be allowed to or what the deal is. Uh, if it's not a real thing, I want to know why. But it so should be. It's such a cool thing. So we need to work out the size of this thing, the size and the scale. And I'm thinking for the front wheels, we do something like that and like this. Okay, so we go up maybe like that and then I'm gonna put that there that goes there and there's the front wheel of the undercarriage that might be a little bit too far forward now looking at it but I do like the the idea behind it we need the nose of the plane in front of that I think we're in a spot I think we're in a spot at least that's wide enough to be able to get the uh, the wings in not a hundred percent sure but we shall just have to find out if not I don't really mind the wings going over the road it's gonna be high enough for anything to get under it anyway uh, but it's such a cool thing and there's so much potential that we can do with the micro blocks here we can get a really really sick uh, looking plane I'm sure so how big exactly do we want this if we ended it up being a three by three it means it would be oops that big that's not bad it's big enough to stand in, or we have the option, if we do it here, this is at its pretty much its wide. If we do it one block back, we'll know it's at its widest exactly. We could do a 5x5, five five, which would be this big. Now, this is obviously a much, much, much larger plane, but might be better for us. That gives us potentially, yeah, that, that would be... That would be better. It is huge. If I get rid of this, that's getting in my way to be able to see the perspective of things. Get out of it. Um, and then we could always make the wheels bigger afterwards. If we really needed to. Um, yeah, I like that. I think that's a pretty good start at least. So, let's have this come all of the way back. This is the top of the plane, obviously. I'm doing it in stone. I do have some clay cut down as well for some darker parts if we need it. Uh, so we should be covered with that. And I've also got some black and dark grey cover uh, wool for wheels and the engines and stuff like that. I haven't done anything for the sign yet. That We'll worry about that later on. One one step at a time here. So right above this window, we or right above these wheels, we do have a window. And I think what we're going to do for the windows here, I do two by two windows. Okay, so the all of the windows are the same size. And they'll be that big. That makes a lot of sense for the scale. So that's what we're going to do. Then we have maybe three more blocks before the doorway. So something like th oops, something like that. And then we have the doorway go in here. So the doorway we're going to do uh, two blocks wide as well. Potentially three blocks would be good. But two blocks I think is a, is a sensible amount to go in there. And then I'm going to do maybe two blocks. One, two before the next window starts here. Now, how many windows are there? One, two, three, four, five, six windows. So that'll be, uh, if we'd done a one gap between each one for now, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be to there. We would have the wing in the middle and then the tail there. It, that might be a little bit short. Let's instead bring this oops bring this out so there's two blocks between each window instead so it would be one two three four five six and then the wing would be from that window to the fourth window that's a much better size i think that's a much uh, a much better size in fact yeah definitely 
Definitely, 100%. Okay, so then this can go along the top here. It's going to come together quite quickly. I have built many planes before in Minecraft. None with the ability to use uh, micro blocks, though. So that is something new to me. Um, and hopefully we can sort of pull it off and make it look really, really cool. Um, something like that for the back shape as it sort of goes up. That will need a little bit of tweaking. Uh, the front is always the hardest part. There is, it's never easy doing the front of a uh, of a plane with micro blocks or without micro blocks. There is just no easy way to do it. You just sort of have to uh, tease it and practice a little bit, and uh, you'll never get it right first time. Uh, but hopefully, eventually, it does get there. So if we have something like this, and like that, and like this, and then underneath. We have, oops, something like, oops, like that for for the cockpit. Maybe that would be better. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can see that. Let's put these underneath there just to give us a little bit of a starting shape to work from. I think we might be able to do this in one episode. I doubt it, though. I think it will take a little bit longer. Uh, I, I'm going to add that to there. I'm going to take that one away for the moment. I'm going to add that to there. I'm going to come underneath here. Put that one in and that one in. That one in and that one in. Do that and there. Try and build it up evenly if you can. Similar to how we always build our boats on Zonocraft. Do a little bit on one side. Do a little bit on the other. And then you will get something that at least uh, is half symmetrical. For you to be able to then uh, change about. Uh, afterwards so let's have that down we'll have the same here uh, yeah see I've run into this problem already of not knowing exactly what I done I think that's good oh and then that's the window here uh, that one uh oh <laughs> welcome to the world of not doing as you preach uh, that one. There we go. I think we've got it. I think we're getting it now. There we go. And that one. And then this came down there. Perfect. Now, is that a good front to a plane? It's not bad. A little bit of tweaking and it'll be there. Maybe just that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. It's not terribly bad. It's got a little red dot on the front, which is what that was to start off with. Uh, now, we do have micro blocks. We also have slabs uh, in order to make things round. Obviously, we'll have the slabs uh, along the top mostly. Uh, but around here, if you're doing it in vanilla, you would leave it like that. If you're using micro blocks, then you might want to do uh, a little bit more uh, later on. Okay, let's run this down the side here. Obviously, world edit would be a lot easier if I knew everything about it. Uh, I would have been able to make the tube straight off the bat. I probably could anyway. I think it's a pretty easy command. Uh, but it's not easy to get exactly the right shape. Okay. That's pretty good for the moment. And that's going to have a darker outline around it to make it stand out. Same as all these windows and the doorway itself. Okay. Let's go from... Let me grab my wand. Wand! Uh, that's not a wand. Wand! There we go. There to there for the moment and set this to stone. I did have this already because I had to do the roads and then have this one from there to there. There's the top in. Uh, wonderful. I think we shall just do the entirety of the outside first and then poke the windows in. Three, four, five. Wonderful, and might as well do the bottom as well. Uh, this is even one of those buildings that we could potentially do the interior for. Uh, if you guys are up for it, I don't mind doing the interior to this. It's nice and semi-small. It's got some interesting things that we could do uh, on the inside, potentially. I don't like doing interiors most of the time, especially made-up interiors, because uh, like what happened with Moe's Tavern, uh, I always forget things or people see different episodes. And in different episodes, they have different things. 
and it makes it a little bit tricky uh, to please everybody. But that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So the wing goes from halfway on window one to halfway on, well, to the back, in fact, of window four, which would be this one. Okay. So that's going to be the width of the window. Let's back off and make sure we like the length and we like the size of the wing. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Does need a lot of tweaking. It's very, very cubey at the moment. But until we get the uh, the shape 100% how we want it, I'm not going to worry too much. So this isn't an easy wing. This is... Uh, it comes in slightly on this side. No, it doesn't. We're going to do flat on the back. So it's flat on the back, but it comes in slightly on this side. So we're going to do, every, for the start at least, every two blocks... It's going to come in and we'll see how, if that's too steep. By the looks of it, I'm thinking that this is too steep of a of a decline. Because it'll be about to there. Yeah, that's too deep. It is going to go over the road, the wing, but I'm not really that bothered about that. I expect... Oops, I burped. I expected it. We foresaw it. So, we shouldn't be surprised about it. And then go from there to there just to speed that up wonderful uh it still needs to go longer for sure it's definitely not long enough and we need to thicken it up as well by putting some slabs on top but let's go a little bit longer one two three one two three uh, fill that in just for time's sake and then it has like a little additional part on the end which for the moment will do like this but that will be thickened up because it definitely isn't flush and flat with the rest of the build. In fact, that probably should be in clay. Just to be a little bit darker. How much darker is it? It's not much darker. Maybe grey wool would be better. It's much more um, contrasting. I knew the clay was very close to the stone uh, when I chose it. But that... Hello, phone. That looks pretty good. It's uh, definitely the right sort of size for the wing. And then the engines will be below this. Oops. Maybe we can do a two by two. Don't touch the floor. Oh, it's on the floor. Uh, that's probably not that bad of a problem. To be honest, I'm sure we'll be fine with that. Um, I could... I could raise the whole thing up with world edit. Couldn't I? I think. If we done it down here. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can do that. We'll put that there and that there. Is that about right? I think those need to be moved over a few blocks. Uh, let's do that. Let's grab a the axe here. We'll go from there to there. And then stand here. Copy. Oh, no. Cut. Cut. I didn't mean it to cut two blocks. Come over here. Paste. With two hashes, <laughs> apparently. There we go. And then grass this area up. Wonderful. That's that's better. That's in a much better place. But I think we need to raise it up a little bit. The only blocks we'll lose is the white one and a few of the tiles. So let's go from here to uh, here. And then I'm going to stand on top of it. We want to raise it up by one block. So we're going to cut. Whoops. Uh, undo. I just <laughs> took the bottom floor away. Uh, whoops. Let's go up here then to the top. I know what I'm doing. Ooh, I know what I'm doing exactly. If I can get on top of this pillar. There we go. Right. So cut. Oh, I've done it again. Undo. That one. Cut. And then... Go up. I, I, I wish that it didn't... No, undo. Let's do this right, otherwise it's going to be really tricky. We'll go there. And then... I shall stand here. I shall cut. Jump up one. And paste. It's as easy as that. I just made it really, really difficult. Okay. So now... We should have it one off the ground. Yep, perfect. It's one off the ground here. 
Uh, take that one away now. Add that little red dot on the end that we had before. And then we can we can then put in our undercarriage again. We'll do that one. Then uh, that one and that one. There and there. Wonderful. That looks better at least. Uh, I think underneath here will be tweaked anyway with a load of uh, half slabs to because it looked a little bit high the undercarriage looked like it was sort of too tall uh, but we need to fit the engines it's really tricky to try and get everything correct on a plane very not an easy thing to build in minecraft whatsoever but that will be like that which will make it a little bit more rounder these will be oops along here to make that rounder and then those colored into stone yeah, and then that will be round. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make the main cabin a circle by using those. I'm going to add those slabs on the bottom all the way down the plane. And I'm going to do the same thing at the top. And then I'll be back, okay? Give me a few minutes. All right. <laughs> windows in on this side. I haven't done the windows on the other side yet. I just wanted to see what it looked like. That really, really helps it look like the picture as well. I love the roundness. I put the slabs on the top just to give it a little bit more depth and shape. Oops. However, I don't like the nose. I think the nose is a little bit too short, especially now that we've smoothed this off. Uh, it just looks like it's, it's a little bit too short. So what we're going to do is hopefully just extend it out in a few places, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, oops. Need to do those apparently. There we go. And there. And then maybe that one and that one. Extend those ones forward. And extend those ones forward. But I'm going to do it like that instead of how I done it on the other side. Because that looks so much better. And that one right there. And that's, that's a better nose. It's better. It's not great. Uh, and then... That one, that one, bring those out by two. That's much better. That is so much better. Hiccups. And then a red one on the end. Yeah, 100% uh, better. I, I couldn't ask for, for anything more than that. So let's try and smooth this out where possible. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be able to get it everywhere. That's not how these, these carbon to blocks work. But hopefully we can make it a lot rounder and smoother uh, than it otherwise would be. That one as well. Whoops. Color these up. It might look better without them at all. Uh, I don't think so, but it might do. You could make a really cool jet. Couldn't you fight a jet out of those? Okay. I like it. I like it. I'm not 100% fan of how they... Have that sort of pop out. I think I'd rather do that. And then colour those. It'll be pointier. Oh, much better. So much better. And then we can even go there. And there. And then it looks fabulous. That is really, really cool. Uh, maybe even there. Oops. There and there. Yep. And there, oops, there and there. Oh, that's got to be one of my favorite noses to a plane that I've ever done. Really, really cool shapes in there for sure. The wing definitely needs a lot of touching up. This isn't a quick job though. I think what we need to do is go around on the top level with a full block, right? I'm thinking something like this. It might not actually be that long of a job. Ooh, rain, go away. It might not be that bad. And then come along here with, well, instead of using slabs, we can use these, can't we? Like this. Just to give it shape. I don't know how much of you, how many of you guys know a lot about planes uh, or the shapes of wings, at least. Uh, but planes have wings that are thicker at the front and thinner at the back and that makes that gives the lift 
uh, in order for a plane to fly. Uh, it's a very, very clever, clever thing. I always thought when I was younger uh, that it would have to be the other way around. I thought it would have to be thinner at the front and wider at the back, just like a, a wedge slate sh uh, shape to try and almost push the, uh, the, the air up. Uh, but it doesn't work like that, apparently. I learned very, uh, very soon after embarrassing myself at school that uh, it, it's completely the opposite to what I, I, I thought. Completely the opposite, not even close to what I thought. Okay, and then we need to sort of try. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to use slabs instead of the um, uh, instead of the slopes because we want to try and have a more gradual. Uh, slope instead of a, a, a you know a 45 degree angle. I did look at collapsible blocks. I thought maybe collapsible blocks we could put on top, and it sort of makes it a lot rounder. I tried a little bit of it, and I I it, I wasn't blown away with it. And the time that it takes to do collapsible blocks, it, it's such a long process. Uh, and for the time it takes, it has to blow me away for me to use them. Um, if it doesn't blow me away and it doesn't look absolutely amazing, I'm not going to spend the hour or two it takes to do them. That's that's no joke how long it takes uh, to do those collapsible blocks sometimes. Okay, that's much better. That's a much thicker wing. Uh, it looks much, much more plain-like for, for sure, 100%. Uh, we might do a little bit on the bottom depending on how these engines turn out. What we're going to do is I'm going to do my old school engine design the way that I always used to do them when i done a 2x2 two two engine. So we're going to come out like this, which is four blocks. And then you're going to come in like this. This is a little bit different to the picture, but it's just going to stand out. It's my, my own patented engine design. So four blocks of 2x2 uh, two two like that. Four blocks of 2x2 two two together. And then put this on top to join them up. I'm going to put a couple of slabs here just to make it look like it's uh, it's connected or you know welded properly to the plane. That looks sick. That looks really really nice. And then do the same thing on the back here 2 3 4. Oops, like this. We're not going to be able to get the whole plane done this episode. Uh that was to be expected though. I I didn't really think anything otherwise. I thought we'd we've done very very well to get as far as we have. Uh, in one episode, I yeah, think think about our build battles. Our build battles, we have five minutes to build in. We've been going for about 22 minutes. I, I'm, I'm guessing 21, 22 minutes. Uh, a rough guess now. And uh, and look what we've achieved. So imagine what build battling would be like if you had more time. It'd be crazy. You'd be able to do all sorts of cool stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do black back here, and then I'm gonna grab. I've got them. I'm going to put these like that. That's how I'm going to do it. It's a little different to the picture, but I just really like how that looks. Very, very, very pleased with how that looks, in fact. Uh, yeah, absolutely perfect. Uh, I am thinking about making this wing thicker. You know, mirroring exactly what we've got on the top, on the bottom. What do you think? Do you think that would be a good idea? No. No. No, I don't. No, it's going to get in the way of the engines. It's going to cause all sorts of problems. We can, though, make these engines rounder. Like this. <laughs> Still a lot to do on the plane, though. We've got the whole back to do. We've got the back wheels. We've got the back uh, fin, whatever you call it. Uh, I don't know what it's exactly called. So you guys can let me know. Um... We've got the, uh, there's a little podium. Uh, it looks like holding the back of the plane up. I'm not quite sure why that would be there because I'm sure the plane would have back wheels anyway. But maybe they just do it for extra support. Maybe the kitchens are at the back and they're like too heavy and it makes the plane a little unstable. No idea. Just uh, just guessing blind, really. Oh, I missed a corner. That looks cool, though. I really like the look of that. And then have those along there. Oops. Used the one by mistake. Be great if I could hit my buttons correctly. And there we go. So we've got like a round engine in now. How's there a block there? I saw you, you sneaky little guy. Okay, how does that look? 
That looks pretty good. That's a pretty good start to a plane. We've got the back. There's a big fin. There's two fins on either side. I can do the other wing and two engines off camera. Um, I don't know if I want to really change this at all. Uh, I suppose we could put these oops, down there. No, like that. And then color those in. Not a huge fan of that. I don't like that. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to put it back. Maybe. I know this is black and not grey. Uh, but I'm just trying to see if I would, I would like this shape better. In fact, I do like the black. Maybe over the grey, though. And then do it on the bottom as well. It just gives a little bit more, more shape to it. I do like the black better. Do I like the black better? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I like the black. But no, I don't. No, I'm going to change that back to grey. I'll do that in grey, but I like that shape. It's hard to tell with the uh, black because it's so dark. But yeah, let's leave the episode there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't, or, bleh, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode where hopefully we shall get this finished off. All right, guys. Bye.